Hello again guys, welcome to the second part. I just want to show you a couple of things that this motherboard, uh, because I was very surprised, uh, I couldn't find the settings that was uh, needed to increase or decrease for the uh, starting from multiplier or or increase the front side bus. Uh, unfortunately, uh, this Soltec, uh, it doesn't have these kind of things. So I'm going to show you right here in advanced uh, BIOS chips. Where is it? Right here in uh, in, in feature uh, pattern. So we're going to go to the uh, advanced BIOS features and uh, we're going to go to the CPU configuration. From here, as you can see, uh, I cannot modify much. Uh, we do have the uh, ratio and CMO settings. Uh, I can only go uh, I cannot go more than 13 for the actual value. Uh, there is here I can modify the CMOS settings. Uh, right here we have the CPU L3 cache, which is uh, of course enabled. We do need the memory cache and the max uh, ID value limit. Uh, we do have right here the frequency and the uh, front side bus at 800 megahertz. But if I had to modify this uh, in order to drop down the uh, the ratio for the for the processor, I'm I'm unable to. So let's try with five. You see, the frequency uh, remains the same. So the front side bus is excluded from the equation for some reason. And. The header configuration heard we do have the CPU uh, is reaching 50 degrees. It's 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 kind of high to be honest, but uh, it does need uh, the proper cooler in order to maintain uh, the temperature at uh, 40 or 45. This is the first CPU fan that is going uh, 3,750, which is is very noisy. I can hear it. At the node bridge, we do have the uh, 128. Uh, this is the uh, how to allocate to the uh, from the uh, to take the, uh, the the video card to take from uh, the uh, the memory of the uh, of the computer in order to use it into the Windows. This outbridge configuration, we do have the AC97 audio. Boot settings. Nothing to look here, and uh, I have set the max or the first boot and uh, the second for the DVD burner for the LG. I, I do have the uh, generic uh, storage, which is uh, which is the, on uh, USB. Yes, nothing else. Quite disappointed. What can I say? So let's go into the Windows and uh, start the benchmarking the games. Like I said. I do like how this machine works. Uh, it does work nicely, but unfortunately, there is no uh, overclocking uh, tools that I can use. Uh, there is, however, the uh, front side bus or the uh, uh, clock generator. Uh, there is a software that you can use in Windows in order to increase the uh, the speed of the processor or drop down the the frequency. I tried yesterday. Uh, using the uh, the program that I was telling you about, there was a, there is a small uh, archive, but uh, from right uh, tester out, uh, it doesn't do much. So uh, this chip uh, could not be uh, identified for some reason. I looked on the internet. I even uh, try uh, digging some more, but uh, no, unfortunately, it was not possible. So all I have to do is just uh, increase the speed of the Celeron. Uh, overclock because the shuttle motherboard does support the overclocking and uh, raise it to 2.6 gigahertz just in order to make it equal and after that yeah, I'm going to make the to redo the test uh, again
I have uh, overclocked the processor, the Celeron at 2.5 GHz. Right now it's running at 2.5 uh, as shown in CPU-Z. And I'm going to uh, start uh, playing uh, the games, the Series Sam, uh, the uh, GTA San Andreas and uh, the, uh, the Unreal Tournament, pardon. <laughs> 